and welcome back to Homeschooling HQ. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the last lesson. Don't forget to post all your wonderful work onto our social media. Uh, today we're going to look at a book called Wendell's Workshop. It's one of mine and Bella's absolute favourite books to read. If you haven't got the book, don't worry too much. There is plenty of links on YouTube and stuff to be able to read the book or listen to the book and I'll leave a link down below. So if you have got this book, pause the video, go and have a little read of it. If you haven't, then head over to one of the links, have a little listen to it and then I'll give you some ideas of activities you can do once you've read it. Now there's lots of great characters in this book and the main character is Wendell and I'd always start with talking about Wendell, our main character. And Wendell invents somebody called Clunk. Now once you've read the book, there's so much discussion you can have about Wendell, the main character, and the other main character, Clunk, and all the jobs that he's been invented to do. I'd certainly spend time looking at some of the wonderful language within this story. Things like the word inventor, do the children understand what that means? Also, maybe um, what scrap heap? That was another word that when I was reading it, we had a really good discu discussion about. Do they understand what the word scrap heap means? And as as you get a little bit later on in the book, we've got fantastic words like lumbering. Have has your child ever heard the word lumbering? Even reading the book with the children is just fantastic, and if they can, let them read it to, the, to you as well. I would always ask them whether they like the book and it's okay for them to say no, I don't like it, but always ask them why and that's a really, really important question whenever reading or trying to justify whether they like it or they don't like it, ask them why. Now Clunk was there to help Wendell with all the jobs that he didn't like doing and one great activity is to actually design your own robot to help you um, do things that you don't like doing. So I'm definitely going to invent a robot to help me tidy the house because it really is the chore that we don't like doing that much in our house. So I'm going to use our ironing board as the main body. We're going to use some pots and pans that I know we've got. Now these are going to be very, very clever because when I press these, I'm going to get some food out of them. Now this is some great discussion again with the children about what all these things do. I'm going to use the hoover arm as one of our arms to pick all, all the bits and pieces we don't like picking up and I'm going to use some spoons from the kitchen again to help us pick up all those clothes and all the other mess that's around the house. Now I'm going to use the other part, the bendy arm of the hoover to be able to reach behind the couch and the fridge where all that mess is and more spoons, maybe like the ice cream scoop even. Now I know we happen to have a set of crutches lying around the house. So I'm going to use them as our legs. And I'm going to put my big boots on to help our character stand up. Now I need a head and that's definitely going to be our hoover. You'll have to excuse me because my art skills aren't brilliant. But we'll give it a whirl. A handle on the top and maybe like the brush as the hair. Now once I've drawn him, I would always then speak to the children about what each part was about or I'd ask them to invent it, knowing what each part was about. Like I've just explained the boots there to help him stand up, the spoons are there to help him pick things up and I'd label my drawing on there. Get your children to do that as well. Now the best thing to do about this is number one, give him a name and then number two, you need to build him. Right, now I've got all my bits and I'm going to build Robbie the robot. So I've got his, uh, his, the brush for his hair, I've got the, the hoover for his face, the pans to get all the food out of and press the buttons, his long stretchy arm to be able to reach things with all those kitchen implements and the masher. I've got the crutch legs and the big boots to stomp on things and then I've got this other arm with the other things that pinches to pick things up with. I'm pretty happy with Robbie the robot. Right, I hope you've enjoyed our lesson. I really do love Wendell's Workshop. It's a great book, so much fun to read. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave your pictures of your robots on our social media and I'll see you next time on Homeschooling HQ.
Bye.